What is up guys, Lost Nerd Show here, and today we're showing off these Destiny 1 Pops from, of course, Funko Pops and stuff. And so, this collection is kind of old because they've even announced Pops for Destiny 2, and so this is the Destiny 1 set. But waiting on this Crota and stuff is what took so long to, for, to get this whole set in. But we have one of each of the Pops. I know there's some different ones, like the GameStop ones. I think there's normal ones, maybe. But we got the GameStop one stuff. But again, these are my brothers, so I don't know a whole lot about the characters. But I'm just going to open them and show off and show you all the detail and stuff that's on each character and the design and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and open it. Of course, we'll start in order going along the top here, which is the order of their numbered in and stuff. So we'll go ahead and start at the top and move all the way down. And first up here we have Cade 6. So this is kind of one of the, I believe, most popular characters of the Destiny game because um, this guy, he's kind of funny and stuff, and he's also voiced by Nathan Fillion and everything. So it's kind of like a fan favor of the Destiny collection. But as you can see here, first off, I like the blue on his face, like all this blue design, of course, with his eyes and then like his face mask. Then he has this horn on top of his head, which he has, which I don't know why, I think it's kind of weird. But he has a cloak on, as you can see here, with the um, tattered like cape and then the hood on with the design there again I don't know anything about it. if it's like a certain design or anything but I love the stitching they put in on this so as you can see around there and they did the whole stitching thing to make it look like something together then of course as I mentioned with the cape all the tatteredness that they did in there and then we have his outfit here um, which looks just like he's wearing like some leather and stuff that has like armored boots I mean this could be armor but it just looks like leather to me but you never know um, but you can see all the detail they put into all the design on it and stuff as you can see on his pants and his boots. All the little detail they put in these of course has um, it looks like maybe a knife or something in there to go along. He doesn't have any guns on him though which would be kind of cool but he's just kind of basic and plain. But as you can see, all the detail put into him there and then his face up close. And you see all the little like mechanical stuff because it's kind of like a robot head that he has going on there that they put in the detail and everything. But that's going to be it for Cade 6. Then next up we have Lord Shax here, which I think looks kind of cool because of the horn that's going on his head. But as you can see, he's got a white and orange base to him, so that's like kind of like the color designs that he has. But his helmet, I don't know what this is, if it's just a design, but by the way it looks like this, looks like a mouth, so it looks like his tongue is just sticking out, like he's sitting there with his tongue sticking out. But I like the whole divide they did down the middle, and then of course whatever those two little designs are, but then they did the white and the orange. And as you see, he should have horns on both sides, so he has the horn over here that I like the detail and all the gold that they put on it and this side it's broken over here as you can see so he's been in war and stuff and had damage you know lost part of his helmet and stuff but he still looks cool so there's the back of the helmet which looks kind of weird it looks almost like a stormtrooper um, but here's the back and front so you can see like he's got I don't know if it's supposed to be like fur I assume by the look of it it's supposed to be like fur ar like armor type stuff on his shoulders and back there and then I like the orange whoops, as I drop it the orange and white as I said and he's got blue in there too which makes it look even, even clearer you don't notice the blue as much on the front as you do on the back there um, but I, like I said I like the whole continuing on with the stripe down of the orange on this side and the white on the other and it just looks cool so you can see the detail going into him here and it just looks cool. Not much different, at least like like the lower half compared to um, Cade, but the colors are different and everything, obviously. But that's cool. I like his boots, the way he has like the weird indention there on the boots. Kind of like they look like the ninja shoes. But that looks cool. So that is it for Lord Shax. Then next up we have Ikora here, so she looks kind of cool, and I think if I remember right, she's just, I mean of course a lot of these people could be and I don't know a whole lot about, but she's like one of like the top people, the leaders or whatever, in the Destiny group, clan thing, whatever. And so here's Ikora, so you can see her eyes, so she has like, doesn't have any helmets or anything on, so you can see her face with a lot of, you know, it looks exactly like a pop face, so she has short hair, and then she's got the eyes, the black eyes of course with the eyelash to show she's a girl, and then I like the whole yellow um, like eyeliner type stuff. I don't know what that stuff's called. Um, but they're all, like supposed to be on her uh, eyelid and stuff. That looks really cool. I like the detail in that. And then we got her dress, which is a cool looking dress with the yellow and pink colors with the red logos there on it, like that. As you can see, the like triangles and stuff. And so she's wearing, I mean, I know it's not a dress, but it's like a trench coat type thing. And so she's wearing that, has some bands around her. Then it looks like she has something there, maybe a knife or something there on her pocket and then goes along to the back and I like that different color a purple or a pinkish color going on there then she has some stuff on her armbands they're kind of like a see-through it's hard to see kind of on the camera here but it's like a see-through collar 
and stuff. She doesn't have it on that side, but on that side she does. So I don't know exactly what that is or for, but she I like that how they added that detail in there, some sort of like armband and stuff. And then she has a necklace on, which hard to see up in there and stuff, but she has a necklace. So that just looks cool. I like the colors. They really pop on this character and stuff, and I really like that. So that is it for my core that won't stand up now. There's that core. Then next up we have Zavala here. And so he's again another one of like the top leader guys. And unfortunately I have to hold him because he keeps falling back. So I don't know if his feet aren't like flattened out or something. But they won't stand. And of course his head is kind of big. I don't know if you can adjust his head. And it'll you know, say if it will stand better. Because they have it kind of turned to the side. But this looks cool. I love this blue color and design of his face. Which I, I don't know. Like I said I don't remember any of this stuff about um, Destiny but when I played for a short while and I made a character my character was a blue color like this so I don't know if that tells what he is or not but I like the detail here on his face like I said it's all blue he's got different colored blue eyes and of course eyelash brows and stuff but then he has these marks on his face which from like a distance they kind of look like not like two knives like the handles and then the blades coming down but I don't know if that's just supposed to be scarring or just some sort of like tattoo detail on his face. I don't know exactly, but that just looks really cool there. Then we have his armor, which he has like the most armor out of all these people so far. So he has a big armor chest on, on here too, so it looks like it's kind of designed to protect his neck, but he also has some kind of like paint, so there's a paint issue going on there that it was like maybe dripped down and attached and stuff. But there's his armor chest that has some sort of logo. Again, I don't know. And then he has big, thick armor there on his legs, his shins and legs. Again, continuing up on his arms there. So you can see just all the armor detail. He has the logo there again with a big piece of armor there on the shoulder. And it looks like he's got some armor on his um, forearms there too, protecting them. So he's just covered out in armor. I don't know what he does, but he gets in battles. Um, so then he has this like um, kind of like a... I don't know, I wouldn't say a cape, but I don't, it's not really a cape because it just shows down here kind of like a skirting type thing so with some detail or some uh, design on there too that looks cool. I like when they add stuff like that on the pops and everything. And then his just red and gold armor underneath with some brown mixed in there and it just looks super cool. And so that's going to be it for Zavala. That won't stand. Now we're getting into some of the bad guys. So first off here we have his Oryx. Again, I'd, I I want to say he's like the big baddie, but I'm pretty sure he's maybe not. But you never know. Like I said, I don't know a whole lot about the game, so I can't tell you much detail on it. But this thing looks crazy ridiculous and cool. So here you can see his head. So it's this big giant head here that has like, I assume this is to be like some sort of armor or protection of his head. He's got three eyes. Who knows? I assume those are for sure eyes and who knows if this is an eye or just some sort of design on his helmet and stuff. He's got a gnarly looking mouth there as you can see like open to bite stuff. I always bite my finger um, with some armor going there on his jaws as well. So I assume that's probably part of his head and it connects all the way around the back there as you can see. And then we come down here where he has some like armor on him. He has what three fingers so he's a three fingered creature. And here he has a sword, which looks cool. So this is like the first one that has an actual weapon in its hand. So it has a sword. looks kind of like the sword from the Lord of the Rings movie that the um, orc I have and stuff. But there's some armor. He has three toes with a giant toe in the middle. That looks cool. Then he has a red, like, um, caping type thing that he wears. Uh, like a cloak type thing. And it has, you know, connections there. Like uh, buckles and stuff there in the middle that go down. Then he has a piece that hangs down in front of him, covering up most of his body. And then he has these giant wings on the back, which looks cool. And I like the like they're all red, then have this like light reddish pink color detail mixed into them to add like some detail and like warmness to it. Maybe like you know he's been in battle and seen battle and stuff like that. So that just looks cool. So that is it for Oryx. Then next up we have Zer here, and I don't believe he's a bad guy because I believe he's in like the Destiny Tower and stuff. So I believe everyone there would be a good person and stuff. So this is a GameStop exclusive. I don't know if just him himself is what makes it exclusive or if his details or design is different. I'm not exactly sure, but I can't see a difference between the one they show on the box and then this version, which is the GameStop one. But here we have Zer, like I said. So I love his face. So he has all these tentacles, and I know I've seen him in the game. So when you like talk to him, all the tentacles are just moving and stuff, pointing out like this. So it just looks really weird. But I like how they added in the yellow eyes to give him eyes there. And then he's in a, like an all matching like outfit here with like this kind of like a dark bluish design and has like you know the diamonds there on the side with his hood pulled up then going on down to his like coat that he's wearing 
with details there on the arm and in front here and stuff. And so I like all the gold mixed in with this dark blue color and a bunch of like patches and designs going in there. Then he has a backpack on the back, which is cool. I didn't know that. So he has a backpack, which looks like, you know, at some corner kind of roll going on there. And then all sorts of gold buckle designs there on the backpack. In his hand, he has some coins. I don't know what type of kind of coins they're supposed to be but he's got like two coins and they have green centers on them which looks cool there and then he has some under his coat like clothing going on so probably like he's cold or something and trying to cover up a lot of detail then he's got some blue boots there so like I said this isn't a GameStop exclusive I don't know again what makes him exclusive if it's just him himself or if there's something else detail wise going on here that makes him exclusive but that's gonna be it for Zer. Now we're back to bad guys again. So this here is Atheon. Um, so this is a GameStop exclusive, as you can see there, but they've kind of messed up. So on the box here, it says 241, but if you look on the back here, he's supposed to be 240. So I don't know exactly why they did that, but, but they did. And once again, it's not only messed up like that, but it's a GameStop exclusive, but I don't know what makes him exclusive. And like I said, if it's just the character itself, or if there's some detail. I thought when I saw it, like, oh, so the normal one is holding a gun, but this one doesn't. But then I took it out and saw it did have a gun. So I don't know exactly what changes it there. But, yeah, they did mess up on the numbering. So it should be 240 because we have 241 there. And they're not the same thing. But this is Atheon, as I said here. So he's one of the bad guys. And so he looks kind of cool. So he has this big triangle. Or I said triangle, but I don't know. But it's like weird-shaped head. He's got an eye here in the middle. It'd be cool if it glowed in the dark. Um, it, you, I'd say maybe it could since it's an exclusive, but it doesn't have the glow in the dark sticker on it. But he's got the big head, these giant horns coming off the top of his head here. He's a robot, so he's like a mechanic and stuff, so he's got no um, real like body parts and stuff. He's just all robotic. And he's got the big horns, a horn there on the back too, and then of course this triangle point coming on the front of his head here. So he's just got a ginormous head. I'm surprised he stands and he's not top heavy. But then we go to his body, so he's got all the robotic parts here, and he's got another, like, the eye up there, the part there in the middle on his chest, kind of like Iron Man, and he's all robotic, so he's got design here on some, he, so he has, like, some sort of armor, as you can see, the, like, he, so he's mostly all this blue, but then he has some, like, uh, silver pieces lining him, kind of like armor, and so he's got designs going on there, and then in this hand, he's got the gun, I, again, I don't know any what kind of gun if it even has a name but he's got a gun there it looks like it shoots three different things so it's got that or that's a scope and those are two guns or they're all three laser shooters i don't know for sure or maybe even four down there on the bottom it's kind of crazy he just shoots a lot of stuff with his gun and then there's his feet there so he's got three toes and then some side stuff going on there as well so there's not much more that to that but that's going to be it for atheon and last here we have Crota. So this is a Target exclusive. I don't know um, exactly what makes it exclusive besides that it's a ca only character. So here this is the true 241 character. As you can see on the back there that's is the proper character. And it should have a Target sticker here. But my brother had to just order it offline because we could not find it at any Targets at all. So it, the way it came online doesn't have the Target sticker. But it has some stickiness so it looks like it was there but they took it off. Which is kind of stupid but... Who knows what people do when they resell crap online. But this is the Crota character. So I believe he's, again, one of the big bad guys out of the game. And once again, he looks crazy and really cool. So he has the giant head. He's got the three eyes again, kind of like the orcs. He's got a big giant head that's like all crystal. He's like a crystal monster. And I like the whole like top up here of the design. It's kind of like a weird thing that you could like sit something in. Um, but he's got the big crystal head, of course, with the details and design going there on the front. He's got a mouth that looks crazy. Looks like he's got two points for teeth, two little nose um, indentions there. And then we got his body that, again, looks like it's made of all crystal and kind of like skeleton. So as you can see, he's all caved in there. And you can see the spine there in the back and the ribs all along the side. Then we've got the crystal armor pieces there on the shoulders and the forearms there. He's got this sword that looks like a piece of bone. Or some with the detail it's kind of see-through and stuff and like I said it looks like a bone with like points and stuff on it I don't know how to describe it but it looks cool and then we go into the bottom where he's got like some more clear parts so he has clear hands and like a clear feet area and then just some random see-through parts on him so he's just kind of a mixture of all sorts of pieces and parts and stuff for that looks came together looks like a really cool monster that looks awesome. So again, that's it, the Target Crota. So this was a Target exclusive that, like I said, was really hard to find. Apparently stores only got like two or three maybe, if that.
if, if they were lucky but so this was really hard to find and so it's kind of expensive but we finally got it to complete this set off and so that's going to be it for Crota. So that's going to be it for this opening and review today of the Destiny 1 Pops. Of course, the complete set that we have here. So that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments down below. And let me know which of these characters your favorite. Whether it's your favorite pop or just character in general that's your favorite. And don't forget to check out the links down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. And we'll see you next time.